Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I will show you guys some HTC One tips and tricks that I learned through the course of my using this smartphone over a month. Now, I enjoy learning anything new about this phone all the time. So I'd like to share my findings of these tricks with you guys. Now, they're not top secret tricks, but I guarantee you have not heard some of these cool tricks. So let's dive in. Okay, so when you have the lock screen and the home screen set up, when you power on your phone, what you get is a lock screen. And then you have a background picture. And when you unlock your phone, you go to your home screen that you have set up. And then you have the same background picture. What if you want to change the background pictures on the lock screen and the home screen? It's very easy. You go to settings. You go to personalize and then you go to lock screen style okay and when you are here on this option you get a bunch of different options when you're in this wallpaper current option click settings and then say use custom wallpaper once you click that you can actually go ahead and use a different picture So now when I turn my phone off and on, I get a different picture on the lock screen. When I unlock it, I go to my uh, home screen wallpaper. Now while we're talking about home screens, let me just let you know real quick. When, when you, if you can pinch your phone real quick and you can change the style of your home screens by adding widgets. At the same time, you can change your default home screen. It does not have to be blink feed. So blink feed usually pops right up okay so you, you you turn off your phone you turn it on you unlock it and boom you got bling feet it's kind of annoying sometimes okay so what you want to do is you want to pinch anywhere and whatever screen you want you hold and press and you drag it to set as home option on the top and that becomes your home screen and you see a tiny little icon that that has a home symbol now, while we are talking about the home, um, the home screens, talk. Let's talk about the dock here. What if you want to remove some of the icons or replace some of the icons here? If you merely take this and drag and drop it to desktop, it goes to the desktop, but it stays on the dock as well. You want to get it off the dock. So what you want to do is let's take this off first. You want to go to your app drawer. When you go to your app drawer, you can actually remove stuff. Okay, so they actually come off. And to put it back, you just grab one of these guys and you put it right back on top of it. And if you want to create a folder, you drag another app and you put it on one of the apps. Oops, let's do it this way. And that creates a folder. Okay, so that's how you change the um, dock layout. The other option is, uh, the other tip I want to give you is about text messages. When you go into your text messages and you go into one of them, you, ha you get a basic background. You can actually change the background layout to a custom wallpaper or some customized uh, color schemes that the HTC One comes with. What you do is you go to main screen and you tap settings. So click uh, settings right here and then go to general and at the bottom here you get to choose from colors so you can pick all these different color schemes so if I pick this one and I go back now I've got a brand new color scheme I can also change the background image so if I go here and I type settings general all the way at the bottom I can tap background and from here I can tap this and I can choose a pretty little background to use with my text messages. Next I'm going to show you two features at once. If you want to quickly access an app that you know what the name of is, you can just do so by going to your Google taskbar, tapping on here and typing the name of the app. So if I type G-A-L-L -L, it says gallery. I can tap it right there. Now, now that I'm in the gallery let me show you one more feature that has to do with editing your photos so if when you go to gallery let's just go to my photos here 
you can actually customize, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, you can add effects and frames to your pictures. So if I go to one of my pictures here, let's go to pull that car up. And um, if you type edit right here, you actually get all these nice options. So you can do effects, like the Helios effect, and then you can add frames if you want to. Okay, and then you can do some retouching and some transformation. Transformation meaning you can rotate your image a little bit and stuff like that. Okay, so cancel that. So that's an option you have that's almost like Instagram. Maybe not exactly as that, but, you know, gives you an idea. Okay, the next tip has to do with the um, app drawer. In the app drawer, you have a lot of options. First of all, let's go to, to go straight to the top, just press home. Oops, I'm sorry. To go straight to the top, just press task bar right here. It takes you all the way to the top. And then when you pull this menu down slowly, like a curtain, you have the option to um, sort your apps alphabetically or by most recent downloaded apps. Okay? So if you pull this down one more time, you can go alphabetical, and then you've got custom options where you can actually p play around with these guys which is a lot of work by the way so I would not recommend doing that just go to alphabetical number two you can search for apps through here okay just like the Google search but then you would have to come in here to do that that's one extra step with Google search you go straight into Google you type in the name of your app and you launch it okay and then the other thing I want to show you is the fact that you, you, have a, you have a quick shortcut button right here that takes you to Google Play Store instantly. Okay? And then you also have some options here where you can change the grid size. So if this is not enough applications squeezed into one window, you can actually change that by tapping the grid size. So if you do that 4 by 5 now I've got more apps on one window, which I actually like better. And then the other option here is you can manage apps you can hide apps manage apps means you go into a menu and you can do tap this and uninstall and stuff like that the other thing is you can actually hide the apps that you don't want for example things like AT&T navigator and AT&T ready to go and this smart Wi-Fi all this stuff is called bloatware this is installed by the man not the manufacturer by the carrier like AT&T and I never really use any of these and I don't like to see them anyway so let's hide them right now so less room is being um, taken in your app tray looks a little bit cleaner too then a couple things in the blink feed if you go to blink feed and let's say you swipe all the way down and you want to go to top right away normally you can press home screen as long as blink feed is set as the default home screen if I press it now it's going to take it to my default home screen the other way is if you're all the way at the bottom you just tap the status bar up here it takes you straight to the top while we are in blink feed what you can do is you can pull blink feed down and then you're revealed with this little menu so from here you can choose what news or what um, you know stuff like Twitter or Facebook you want fed to you on blink feed so from here I can tap and gadget so that's gonna make sure I only get news from and gadget and then when I pull it down again I can search the news this does not search the apps I wish it did but it does it does not this searches the um, news that you're being fed and then this one right here you can actually use this to post quickly to Twitter as long as you have your Twitter account activated if you have your Facebook account activated you can have that show up here too and then this one is a quick menu where you can you probably already know this but you can customize your home screen here you can go to settings here and then this is about the blink feed settings and if you click personalize it takes you to wallpaper lock screen style customize home screen and all that stuff including ringtone and stuff so let's go back out there so remember you can pull out the menu slowly down to reveal that menu now you can reveal that menu anywhere in blink feed if you go all the way down here you tap this and slowly pull down and release and that menu appears right there from anywhere okay and then you can also 
tap and hold the home screen to go to Google Now directly and from here you can easily search an app. So if I wanted I was looking for the um, gallery app, I type in G L L A E R whatever. So gallery app right there, you pop it, go straight into the gallery app. Now there's also another amazing thing that I uh, recently discovered is where you can actually disable, you cannot uninstall bloatware but you can disable bloatware. Now bloatware again is stuff like the AT&T locker that nobody ever uses. So what you want to do is you want to go to settings, you go want to go to all the way down to apps and you want to find the bloatware that you do not want. So AT&T locker is right here, you can in fact disable this. So disable that. When I go back into the app drawer, that bloatware is actually permanently gone without me having to hide the app. Okay, so another tip I discovered has to do with the lock screen. So let's go to the lock screen right now. And as you can see, I have no password. I unlock and I go straight into the home screen. So if I want to uh, access my notifications tab from the lock screen, as long as I don't have a password or any other locking mechanism security thing set up I can access my notifications bar right through here and I love that because if if I get a phone call or an email or a missed text message I can just tap that look at it to see if it's important if it's not important I just can go back to do what I'm doing and uh, one more thing about the lock screen if you're in the lock screen you can actually swipe anywhere to unlock okay so you don't have to swipe that little lock button from bottom to top to unlock the screen okay so one more thing about the lock screen as long as you haven't enabled a password or a pin number to lock your phone you can access any app from the app drawer by swiping it upwards um, if you do have a security lock enabled you will only be able to access the camera function for quick access shots Everything else, including the notifications bar, will be inaccessible. So there's a lot of limitations when you have a security lock enabled. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this video. I don't know how many tips and tricks I shared with you guys, but it doesn't really matter what the number is. Uh, they're all good and useful. Now, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I truly appreciate that. And uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. You can follow me on Twitter. You can like me on Facebook. I'm going to put all the links in the description below. And uh, thank you for watching this video. Have a good night.